Got him. Oh, snake on it. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one, guys. How's it going, everybody? Good morning, good afternoon. I don't know what it is. I'm tired, but I'm super excited for today. It's just early in the morning, and David and I are gonna be doing some Delaware snakehead fishing. Top water, of course, middle of July, pretty much now, kind of, early July. Anyway, we're gonna be doing some top water snakehead fishing. Hopefully we can get on some nice ones. Believe it or not, I've only caught one snakehead this year. I've only gone once or twice, I think. So hopefully we can get on some good ones today. Let us get on the road, let us get our stuff packed up, and we will see you out in the water. Hopefully we can get some. Go leave a like if you enjoy this video. Thank you so much, let's go. Spooked one. Ah! Oh. Yeah. I landed right on top of him. Yep. Well, he hit it, but he didn't get hooked. Only about my third or fourth cast. It's gonna be a good day, guys. Throw back in there. He's there, he's there. He's on it. He's still in there, guys. Just hit it again. Fish on. Got one. <laughs> Little baby came out for it. But already, guys, got a snakehead. Come here, bud. Look at that little guy. <laughs> Cute little baby. Man, really good colors, though. That's an awesome looking fish. There's nothing better than barely getting out on the water and already getting a fish. I'm not 100% sure if that was the same fish that bit it the first time, but either way, we got one out of there, so. the heck I have no idea what that was something was getting chased and it ran straight into my frog I think lots of cloud cover I mean pretty much complete cloud cover hardly any wind whatsoever the tide is going out which I like just everything is pointing towards us having a great day all the signs are there now we just need the fish to Cooperate and we'll be all right. Oh, snakehead there. Don't be shy, come back. Yep, there we go. Number one. I'm on the board, bruh. Woo! <laughs> this is a weird looking one, man. Woo! Right in that little pocket, baby. Me and Maddie both on the board early. Let's go, dude. Woo! It's easy getting the frog out. I'm not gonna spend too much time looking at this guy but look at that tail dude look at that tail this dude has lost his entire tail I don't even know how he's swimming around out there that is freaking wild man look at that all bloody and everything I guess that's what the spawn does to him man I gotta get a picture of that that is something else just a straight up zombie snakehead man I mean that is just unreal dude is swimming around feeding on frogs with no tail 
It's a testament to the toughness of these fish, man. It's crazy. All right. Pretty cool one to start. You know, get the uh, ice broken out here today. Never caught one with no freaking tail. That is insane. Glad that fish came back for it. I'm glad I cast it in there. You know, this looks like the area I would want to cast at, which I did already cast over there, but it's these little pockets, like stuff like that, where they really like to be. One without a tail, that is wild. Alright folks, well, it's taken a while, I'm finally cruising up here on what I think is a full out big fry ball. Try not to spook anything here, that's definitely a big fry ball, we gotta pull one out of here. Here we go. Got him! Ugh. <laughs> I wasn't sure if he had it, but he got it. Let's go. Right off the fry ball. Get in the net. It's a good one. It's a pretty good one. There we go. Nice. Heck yeah. Followed in off the fry ball. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Whew. Made it count, guys. I saw that fry ball up there from a mile away. Got this big old snakehead off the fry ball. Look at that thing, guys. Heck yeah. Gonna try to get him unhooked quick. There we go. Popped right out, just like that. Ugh. Calm down, bud. Here he is, guys. He's all curled up. There he goes. It's kind of hard to hold snakeheads without grippers or anything, but got him unhooked, got him out of the net. Hopefully he's going right back over to his fry ball. Hey Siri, call David Wyatt. Oh my gosh. Oh my. I flew that one. I flew that one. Look at that. There is a big snakehead. Oh, he's still there. Man. Just kind of cruising around right now looking for fry balls because the just random casting to good looking spots kind of game has been non-existent ever since I caught that first one. It's like 
Definitely not as many fry balls as I saw last time I was out here. I've only seen two so far, I think, that have been like confirmed fry balls and they're just not out in the open today. You know, they're, they must be tucked up in the thick stuff because it's really, really hard to find them right now. But that's what I'm trying to do. Just cruise around looking for them and then if I see one, I'll cast to it. But it's just been a really, really tough. Oh, there's one under it though. There's one under it right now. Stay on, bud. Stay on, bud. Woo. There we go. Not gonna play around with this one. I'm gonna get him in the net. Woo. Landed right on top of him. He stalked it for a little bit. So he def I don't think he was on a fry ball. If he was, I definitely couldn't see it because he was way back in all that duck weed. But finally, another snake. It's about time. It's been like two hours since my first one. Whew. Thank you very much, buddy. He already got himself right out of the hooks. So I'll show him off to you guys real quick. Dude, what in the world? Another one without a tail. Did y'all see that? I've caught two snakeheads today and neither one have had a tail. What are the odds of that happening? Like it's never happened to me before. I've never caught one without a tail like that, that I can remember. And then to get two on the same day, it's just weird. It's been that kind of day. It's been a strange day, but despite him having no tail, he was able to hit it just like that last one. These things are just having a weird, weird spawn. They're taking a beating, I guess. Just as I was saying, like, that the random casting game to good looking spots wasn't working, I'd take like the next cast and catch one out of a good looking spot without a fry ball, I think. So, I don't know. They're just being weird today. There's fry all back here. You need to see the water boiling with them. I don't know where to cast, there's so much. Oh my. You guys see all that? There's one on it, there's one on it. Got him! Oh, it's a big one! It's a big one, guys! It's a big one! Oh, let's freaking go! Off the fry ball, it's a big one! It's a big one! Oh my! Oh! It's big! It's big! There we go! Oh, let's go! Oh, oh, oh. Out of the fry ball. Oh my gosh. Big one, guys. 
Look at that thing. Oh, let's go. Whew. Heck yeah. Look at that fish. Oh, probably a seven pounder right there. Six or seven pounds. All right, guys, it's kind of hard to hold them up here. Try to show you guys the best I can. Really nice snakehead. Gonna go ahead, if he'll calm down here, try to get him a little bit closer back to his fry. Gonna do this. All right. Man, alive. Beautiful snakehead. There he goes. Woo! <laughs> Gotta love it, man. Gotta love it. I knew there is no way we weren't gonna pull one out out of all this fry here. One of the coolest times of the year to fish for snakeheads just because you can almost anticipate exactly when they're gonna bite it and there's no feeling like it when you're just pulling it along and you see that big old weight coming right up behind you and then a couple seconds later, boom, he's gone. Oh, snake on it. There we go, dude. Get that one out of there. <laughs> I knew that pocket looked good. He was right on top of it. Finally, one with a tail. <laughs> I was just saying to Maddie guys that the topwater bite should be picking up here with the cloud cover that has just rolled in and uh, I'd say that's a pretty good sign of it right here. This is a pretty, pretty snakehead. Not a big one or anything, but Ooh. <laughs> it's a good looking one. Little guy, not on a fry ball yet again. It's funny, two out of three of Maddie's have been on fry balls. None of mine have. He wasn't on a fry ball? No, he's back in there. Really? Yeah. I, didn't fish there. I figured you didn't. Because I came that way. Yeah. All right, time for the release, folks. Number three. 